guys, so I had to travel to Philly for a wedding and I decided I'd bring Lennon with me. So this is how it went. Thank you. So this is how I set Lennon up here at my uncle's house. I had an X-Pen delivered, so I ordered it on Amazon. That is her little travel litter box. And my uncle happened to have this cute little mat and it just kind of like fits perfect with this layout that I've created. I brought a couple of toys in my suitcase for her. And then I'm using her carrier as just like an extra little hidey house. And then I also put a towel over the pen just to give her even more of a hidey space so that she feels safe and secure. What do you think, Lennon? A big shout out to Small Pet Select. I had them deliver a two pound box of oat hay for her. So this should be plenty during our stay we're only here for four days and then whatever we don't use we'll probably just donate come on <laughs> she just snatches it out of my hand as you can see lennon here was a big hit with my family she always is and as you heard, I was staying with my uncle, but I have a lot of different relatives in Philly. And my brother and my dad also drove up from Virginia to see us. So there was a lot going on. Lennon is very engaged in conversation. As you can see, she feels like she's one of the humans. It's really cute. 
I definitely let her explore a little bit and free roam a little bit at my uncle's house so that she wasn't always confined. She was doing perfectly fine after the flight and during the whole trip. She adjusted very quickly and I've made two videos guys dedicated on how to fly with your rabbit. So I'm not gonna go through all that in this video, but please check those out if you're curious on how to travel with your bunny. All right guys, so we are here in Center City, Philly at the beautiful art museum where the Rocky steps are. I brought Lennon because it's one of my favorite places to come to. Okay, so Lorelai from the future is interjecting because I want to tell you the story of how it actually ended. Basically, we get to the airport, check in, go through TSA, everything's gravy. I didn't really film any of that because I felt like I already got enough footage from the first time around. And the flight was gravy too. Take off everything. Lennon's being so perfect, so cute. Of course, we're getting the eyeballs, you know, people are like whispering like, oh my God. There's a bunny. What a cute bunny. What a well-behaved bunny. I'm like, yeah, I know. And by the way, there's a really hot guy sitting next to me and Lennon on this flight. And he even like offered to film me and Lennon because he saw me struggling with the camera and the tripod. And he's like, I got you. And I was like, oh no, it's okay. Cause I was nervous. Anyway, enough about how I'm a terrible flirt when push comes to shove. And because our first flight went so well, I just took the liberty and the confidence to lay Lennon on my lap like the majority of the flight. And it's just like at the end of the flight, like at least she waited to the end of the flight guys to do this. Basically like we're sitting there on the tarmac, we had landed, People are lining up, you know, to like get off the plane. As I'm like about to slide her into her carrier, she takes the most gigantic piss of her lifetime on my lap in front of everybody on the plane, including the really hot guy sitting next to us. It was so embarrassing. He gave us like that look where he's like, and I was like, oh my God. And of course, you know, like rabbit piss is just like, it's it, there's a stench to it. There's a stench and everybody's like squished together on this plane. And like even the woman behind me, like she felt so sorry for me. It was, I can't remember the last time I was that mortified. And I could just see all these people like telling everyone and their mother for the rest of their lives. Like, oh my God, yeah, there was this cute bunny on the plane and it just, took a giant piss on its owner. Now I don't want a bunny. You know, and I'm just like, Ugh. By the way, like waiting to get off this plane, they're taking so much time. They're just like lollygagging. It's the worst. And, and by the way, guys, like, I don't know what's more embarrassing, right? Like sitting on this plane with, with drenched pants or having to walk through all of LAX to baggage claim, which is like a mile long, looking like I had pissed myself. You know, cause like my crotch is like drenched. Of course, you know, nobody ever like recognizes me at LAX or, you know, no one that I know is ever there. And as luck would have it, I start getting DMs from like a couple people who are like, hey, did I see, did I just see you at LAX? And I'm like, That was me. That's me. <laughs> Everyone that's Sloan. Come come make You can always cut it out. Come make a cameo. Go check oh out his God. channel. This lighting, it's so different. I know, it's so nice. It's 
golden hour. So I think that embarrassment lasted for like a good two weeks and I'm finally over it, but I keep thinking about that hot guy. And by the way, guys, like I'm not mad at Lennon, you know, she obviously nature took its course and she was doing what she had to do. Poor thing had been holding it for the longest time. I felt so bad. That was our flight to Philly. Back to the video. You're home. 